Cat. And I just got back from a lot of accidental flights and weird chaos that led me being in Sweden uh, with Mojang. And I want to talk about all of that. However, first, let's check out the insane disasters add-on. This just came out this week, and it is the highest rated add-on on the marketplace right now, although not with many reviews. It's also the Tide most expensive at eight US dollars. Is it worth spending eight dollars for tornadoes and meteor showers, earthquakes, and blizzards? Well, today I figured, so you don't have to, I will find out on your behalf. This is a ridiculously high price for an add-on, in my opinion, but if it's a ridiculously good quality, well, I think that's not so bad, but the only way to know for sure is to activate the add-on on a brand new world, like we'll be doing today. This is Natural Disasters. Uh, it's by Sparks, and uh, these, that's generally, I find they make pretty decent stuff, but is this going to fall in that category? I guess we can find out ourselves. So, um, yeah, we're gonna enable 1.21 Experimental just for some fun, and you know what? We'll Enable the villager trade rebalancing as well, just in case that comes up. Let's go into Natural Disasters, uh, a fun new Minecraft add-on. Or, I mean, they, they claim it's fun. A lot of people, I've been hearing exclusively good things about it. So, I have to imagine uh, this is literally the Java mod. What's weird is this, this add-on, this mod, if you will, is breaking one of the fundamental rules of Minecraft. They have said, okay, so, Insane Disasters Guidebook and a disaster controller. What is a disaster controller? They are enabled by default and they may destroy parts of your world. So the easiest way not to be concerned by this is to, oh, we can turn up the spawn frequency. Easiest way to, yeah, but once you enable it, you don't have disasters until you click all of these things. And now we can have any of those things at any time. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. I feel like a frequency of five still means like once a day, not once every 20 seconds. But we'll see as we go into the world and try to work out how to survive in a mesa biome. I think obviously we can get sticks nice and easily. Well, we can get some number of sticks, some amount of easy. But uh, yeah, otherwise uh, there's, a, there's not a lot going on here, is there? So uh, I think we, we have to get wood. We have to go to either the savannah biome or we could go to the pillager outpost. Now hear me out, the savannah biome is the much safer option here, right? Everyone loves a good savannah biome, but the pillager outpost, um, so oh, my controller won't connect correctly. Uh, so uh, the savannah biome is the much safer option here, but the pillager outpost would be much more fun to see a disaster happen by, and so I think that's what I would love to do personally. So hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, surprise stream, says Xavier. Yeah, surprise stream for me too. Uh, right now, I'm meant to be in uh, Doha and Qatar. Um, I am not there. I, I There were some airspace closures in the region. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, wait, actually, and, and no, I guess I was going to say a natural disaster happened in real life, but it was very much a man-made disaster in real life. Um, you know, Don, uh, th things well above the pay grade of a Minecraft YouTuber to talk about. Also, hey, we got some, uh, we, we got some armadillos over here. It's interesting because I feel like I didn't enable armadillos. Wait, chat, I, just to, just to confirm something, let's, uh, let's scroll down here. Oh, I did enable armadillo and wolf armor. So we can go get some wolf armor as our first, uh, thing. But at first, I guess we'll read it in the Insane Disasters guidebook. Because again, I, I, have, I have intentions in this world, but those intentions are going to have to come second to knowing what's actually going to happen. So beware of the seven insane disasters. Oh, it does say insane. I was sure I was just misreading. Nope, it's insane. Um, so uh, stay safe as they can emerge anytime, anywhere. I'm anywhere and it's anytime. Um, so as you can see, we can now read about the blizzard. They uh, appear in cold biomes. That's not anywhere, anytime, is it? That's that's anytime, but that's not anywhere. Equip armor to protect against the freeze or huddle by fire for safety. I actually quite like that as an event. Like, Minecraft has freezing already. Making the biome as a whole be kind of cold actually sounds pretty cool. You know, I, I, I like this already. Tornado is a fast-moving thing which destroys vegetation and throws around players and mobs in their path. Look at that pig. He is confused what he's doing in the air. Um, and then we've got Thunderstorm. Beware of the clustered lightning in thunderstruck, um, storms. Also, Qatar is underwater right now. Oh yeah, you're right. Dubai is going through flash flooding. So, I mean, the, the whole region is going through some stuff. Uh, trees struck by lightning leave behind burnt logs. Also, sandstorm. Beware of sandstorms in hot, sandy biomes. They slow movement and reduce visibility. Beware of earthquakes. They violently shake the earth, causing... Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, it's a tornado! <laughs> I'll read about the other things later. I think I've got 
I think I've got some more pressing issues happening right now. Uh, so I would really like some food, but I don't know... Yeah, I feel like I'll die if I go into the tornado, so I'll wait for something to fall out of it. This is intense. What am I looking at right here? I genuinely... No, good, no, cow, cow. Okay, so... Oh, no, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Get me out, get me out. Okay, I just gotta... There we go, I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna survive, chat. Don't tell me I'm not going to, because I am. Uh, skin standard cuss died. Very sad. So as you can see, the... <laughs> There's a very valuable lesson in what happened to me there, chat. And it's when you see a volcano, you probably got to get out of the way. But the good news is that means if I got flinged out of it, then there is going to be some dead cows. So hopefully some dead meat. Also, okay, I'm just going to get to the side here. Looks like the... Okay. That tornado is literally beelining towards me, right? Like if I go this way, the tornado is going to... Yep, the tornado is, is sentient and craves toy cat blood. And I am going to die. I'm trapped in a hole. I think this might count as shelter though, right? So I can't get... Oh yes! I have solved it, chat. That is how you avoid a tornado. Tornado cannot get you if you just shelter. And funnily enough, as soon as the tornado doesn't get you, it goes, what's the point of being alive? And just ends. <laughs> that's, that's so dumb on an objective level. But I get why people enjoy that. But you know, I, I, there are people who enjoy... Um, th there are people who enjoy all sorts of things. And when I mean all sorts of things, I mean, there, there are people who go ironing on surfboards. There are people who go surfing on iron boards. Uh, there, there are people who find lots of normal things uh, weird and weird things normal. And those people, therefore, might like this. Because that was not an average event. It is a tornado that actively hunts you down. Um, also, when, when I died from it, and I lost my book, it looks like, unless it was... Maybe I died just somewhere around here. Here's my cactus. Okay, that's my cactus. It couldn't have come here naturally. So that means my other stuff is probably in the area somewhere, right? Yeah, there we go. I need I need the book to work out what's happening. So insane disasters. Let's read the rest. So as well as the tornado, uh, we've got the thunderstorm and the sandstorm. And we've got the earthquake. And the... Oh, so that's that sounds kind of concerning. Meteor shower sounds like a lot of fun. And then we've got acid rain. That doesn't happen in real life. And a disaster alarm sounds an alarm before an, a disaster. It allows nearby players of a countdown. That sounds really cool, actually. Oh, so there's probably more to the book. Let's, we'll, we'll read through it in a second. For now, let's work on surviving. Uh, so here is my insane disaster controller. And uh, also a toy cat nado. Toy cat nado, indeed. I had dreams like this when I was little. You know, I feel like everyone has fears of natural disasters when they're young. Because it's like a... It's a human thing that they try to teach into us early. But maybe a bit too early. Or maybe that's just me. I I feel like the amount of terror I spent thinking climate change is so real and we're all gonna die has now made me adjust into the opposite way where I'm like, honestly, climate change has only killed like 60,000 people. And I assumed it would kill the majority of people. So right now we're doing pretty good at it. You know, that I feel like that sort of accidental bias that you get when, when people over-exaggerate a danger, you then start to not trust them and therefore, you know, you start to not believe that there is a danger that's been averted or that doesn't exist. Uh, hey, Toy Cat is back, says Rohi. I am in fact back. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah, you know, that's what we call it here on the channel. I, I if, you're not, if you're new around here, don't, don't fact check that. That's what we call... That's what we call the live streams. And uh, we have fun and games, uh, except whatever that is. A sandstorm, I'm guessing? So I don't know what the solution to a sandstorm is, so I'm going to quickly read the book. Okay, so there's a sandstorm. Quickly. Uh, sandstorm. They reduce... Okay, it's just it's visibility and movement. So as long as I'm not trying to move or be visible, I'll be fine. Uh, I'll just take my furnace. Just whack some, I don't know, some planks in there. And while those smelt, I'll grab enough stone for, a, uh, for an axe. Because it's one of my favorite paths to take from Minecraft. And then we'll eat some proper good food. I, I love eating real food rather than bread. It's a lovely improvement for my day. But yeah, as you can see, this is a sandstorm. Oh, it hurts too. Okay, I don't, I don't want to be dealing with any pain right now. So I'll just uh, get out of this. And uh, enjoy down here where there's some copper. I think I needed copper, right? It was copper surrounding... I think it was copper surrounding a redstone hole. So I get one piece of redstone, what redstone uh, blocks are in. So I uh, get a simple piece of redstone, and I'll be good. And I'll just enjoy the sandstorm in the meantime, uh, 
try to stay sheltered somewhat. Maybe if I like stay on this side of the tree, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the tree to, to guide me. And now the, the disaster goes away. It seems as though the moment you thwart a disaster, the disaster's like, well, I don't see what the point is anymore. Also, a pink sheep. That is an incredibly rare uh, thing to just have happen right there. I love it. Also, these zombies must have spawned in the storm because I don't see any other reason why they'd be existing right now. And, uh, yeah, let's head towards this thing. Uh, is there a tornado happening in Minecraft? Oh, it's there are mobs spawning everywhere, chat. I think that's just a problem with the add-on. Or maybe it's this is a natural disaster in its own right. But there's mobs everywhere. I, is, is the daytime <laughs> all messed up or something? But yeah, my next plan is to hang out around the pillager outpost so that the next natural disaster can affect them instead of me. I don't know if it's a good plan, but I know it's one I want to do anyway. So we eat the pork chop. We'll head right up there. Maybe if we find a good cave on the wave, we could stop for it. Like, just get a piece of coal. Maybe get a piece of redstone, too. Like, redstone isn't easy to find, but if you find a good cave, it basically is. And so, two pieces of coal? Yes, please. Uh, we can fuel a furnace with that, maybe. Maybe even get some other stuff. Also, I hear a disaster. Did you hear that? Is it not a disaster? Is that just regular Minecraft happening? So, make some sticks, make some torches. 12 torches seems like a lot, but I think it's actually pretty worthwhile. And use it to get the rest of the coal, to get the redstone, to make... To, I, I feel like a disaster alarm would help me maximize the destruction of this pillager outpost. Is that going to help me massively in the long run? Nah, it's mostly going to be fun, right? Let's be honest. This is an add-on about punishing yourself. And so I want to make it as little about punishing myself as possible. So we can see what's happening with the benefits of it. Uh, and then, because I think everyone can understand the, bene yeah, the the downsides of natural disasters in your world. What about the upsides? Well, the upsides are you won't find sad caves. Wait. Why? There's no way this is a normal Minecraft cave. This looks like a... What just happened here? This Is this real? Oh, that was a very weird connection between two caves. And then it happens again over here. Very intriguing. But yeah, if we follow that all the way down, I'm sure there's redstone at the bottom there. I think we could easily get our hands on some. If we could just get iron, then we would be good to go. Because I think you can't... Or in fact, I know you can't uh, get this without it. So we'll take a peek. I, I knew I didn't see any iron, but it's still sad to look back and confirm. Um, pretty sure. Um, but yeah, if you want to know how much this costs... Oh, chat, something is happening out there. I'm going to go take a peek at it. But I'm going to be honest with you, I think I'm safer in this cave than outside of it. I think that is a usual rule for life. But it is especially true when you hear noises like that. So just go and take a peek. Yeah, I think... Oh, wait. Ooh, what was that? Uh, so it hurts to be alive up here. Okay, yeah, it's another sandstorm. Oh, yeah, I I have the sudden urge to, you know, go... Da -da 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 but I, I have no idea what that could possibly be from. Man, I lost my ability to do that. That speed. Oh, have you seen the new Minecraft movie announcement slash leaks? Especially the weird and confusing set leaks. Uh, they already finished filming. Yeah, it's crazy to me they already finished filming. Uh, congratulations to the Minecraft movie. Everything I'm hearing about it so far is making me say, what the heck is actually going on? I think maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe it's not, but yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the tip, by the way, Crypt. Appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I definitely want the redstone block, and I definitely am better off not hanging out where the dust storms are. I kind of like this as a reason to, like, force you underground every now and then. But, I mean, I could see why you would say being forced underground isn't your ideal. But personally, I think it's charming. I think it's plenty charming. So, let's just fuel the furnace, grab my pork chop. This is my one piece of food. Uh, it's gonna go a long way, <laughs> but that's fine. That's just okay. And we're going to see if we can see just any amount of iron around here would be great. Would be would be life-changing, perhaps, I might say. Uh, but we don't have any, so we'll just go straight down. You know, sometimes in Minecraft, taking the risk is how you get the win. And today, I'm going to do precisely that. I'm just going to hop into the cave that probably has redstone. And then I'm going to probably get redstone from it. And probably not die. That's what I reckon. And let's see if we're right. So, block down here, block down here, 
Lock down over here. And another one over here. Yep, yeah, nice. Then do the same down here. Lock down, lock down. Just make, make a few torches just to follow it easily up. And are you seeing any... So okay, iron. Perfect. One block of iron is not the right numbers, but that is the right number right there. So jump over and perfect. We now all of a sudden have our hands on an iron pickaxe and an iron sword too if we want it. But the, the most important bit is we can mine redstone if we can find redstone. Can we find redstone, chat? Make your guesses right now. In fact, can you see redstone? If you can, definitely let me know. Would love to see it. But I'm going to try and make that skeleton work to fight me for a second. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get up here and I'm gonna say you are dead now. Goodbye. Oh, you are not dead yet though. So I would like to ensure that is gonna happen soon. Just over the edge, please. And then we'll get back over here where I have no food, just a reminder. <laughs> and I'm gonna invest in an I wanna invest in a sword first. And you can see why that would be a good idea, objectively speaking. Um in fact, a very good idea, objectively speaking. But instead, I'm going to make poor decisions because that is what I do. <laughs> so, crafting table, let's go. 100%. Um, I'm expecting... Uh, have you thought about making a positive Let's Play video? Uh, yeah, it's the vast majority, I think. I Yeah, pretty pretty sure that's that's the case. Um, I, I should, Maybe the negative ones sound like they'd be more interesting. I think the... I think negativity is a, a cycle that can feed many people... Uh, and many things. Oh god, there's a... Okay. So I will die. I think I should have made a shield, actually. I think that will hurt, defend me more than a good offense will. So let's see. I think I saw some down here. Could be wrong. I, in fact, am wrong. Oh no, there is some. So we'll just quickly grab this. Just make one shield desperately. Um, I'm hoping the furnace is still running. It's not. So just throw, it, throw in this, this sapling. And then a single plank if that needs to be. And then let's just, just take a peek. Chat, any redstone at all? If you see it, let me know. Give me the coordinate. <laughs> I don't know what I mean by that. But, uh... I mean, I guess there's someone who could work out, like, it's in the negative X direction. And if that's you, good job. If that's not you, then also good job. Because no one should be expected to do an outstanding job all the time. Okay, so torch time. Torch and run. That's always the strategy chat. I actually learned something really valuable about mob spawning recently. It was something from Minecraft themselves who basically said, yeah, we have a mistake that you can fix uh, by turning your simulation distance off four. And I was like, oh, that is, that's a game changer for me. Because lower simulation distance is usually the least laggy. But it has a huge downside to compensate. Um, anyway, so... Let me grab the iron. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's it's over for me now. You can't you can't get rid of a creeper explosion this way. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, there is probably redstone down that cave there. It's gonna be a lot harder to get to. I think I should just go to the surface where there's food maybe, and then deal with this all later. How does that sound, Internet? Does that sound like I've got a plan? It, I I think that sounds like a good plan. It's probably daytime. Uh, my, my, my attempts of getting redstone are clearly going worse than my attempts above the surface will. And so I'll enjoy the, the time there. Also, the weather effects are pretty loud by comparison. Yeah, they are crazy loud to me too. Just to be clear, that is not a... Um, it's not just a you thing. I, I am hearing it too. Why am I hearing it that way? Well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? I don't know if I know the answer. Also, um, a new cape map they have been shown says fun. Yeah, it's true. Um, I don't know if they are verifiable yet. That's the, the thing about leaks is you don't actually know um, if they are legit um, until way after they've been, you know, you can only find out if they're true if they are already proven to be true by actually coming out. But, um, oh man, it is, it is a bad time to be alive right now, chat. Let me tell you. I just want food. And I don't know. I don't mind where I get it, but I would like it quite badly. So the jungle over there is my best bet if I need daytime, if I need nighttime food, and I don't want to die getting it. So that's my plan right now: is make it to the jungle. A um, little bit easier said than done sometimes, sure. But I'm gonna. Okay, yep. No sprinting. Just just jungles. If I just get my hands on a few melons. 
you know, sometimes it's the dream dream we all aim for uh, in and out of Minecraft. But if I can just get those melons, I'll be fine. Um, the, the thing about leeks, they taste good, says <laughs> the furry. Uh, you know, very fun. You should uh, find a bed and set spawn. You know, why should I do that? I cannot imagine a single good reason for needing a bed right now. Uh, sounds like crazy talk to me. Okay, I'm gonna die. I, I'm gonna jump in the water and I'm gonna be too slow and that's gonna kill me. Oh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't do it. Okay, he can't. He can't. I'm fine. I don't need a bed. In fact, if I needed a bed, there's two sheep right there. I reckon I kill them both. I get some dye. And I'll be golden. Yeah, yeah, that's my plan. It's a bad plan, but it's a plan. I'm gonna kill the salmon. Sorry, big salmon, but you will nourish me today. No, you won't. He's not nourishing me, chat. Okay. But there's some there's some sheep there and a sheep there. As long as I get two from one and not one from Neva, it will be great. So just just walk over, go for a little little stabby stab. Did I get two wool or did I get one? I, if I got okay, I got a new recipe, but it's not the thing. Okay, we're, we're fine. I'm good, chat. I'm doing very good right now. And there are the two other sheep. I am not sure why that skeleton is only just dying now, but I'm glad he is. Sorted. And sorted. Okay, so again, my goal is to get a natural disaster to happen to the pillager outpost. That is still what I am aiming for. But first, I need a bed and I need some food. So the bed is just here in case the worst thing happens on the way to food. As we all know, the worst thing does tend to happen sometimes. It's a, uh, it's a strange reality we live in. Um, uh, okay. And, uh, oh, no, 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 not right now. Please, let me set my spawn first, please. Just, just, that's all I ask for. Um, just, just, come on, no. I was so close. I got the wool. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna make another third yellow wool. And we're gonna get in the water. You're safe in the water. Lightning can't hurt you here. Okay, just make, let me make the bed. And then sleep in the bed. You can harm me all you like now. No, you can't. It's not set. It's not set. Okay. Ooh. I can only sleep at night and during thunderstorms. I'm just saying, chat. I feel like I found a bit of a... Uh, <laughs> I feel like I found a bit of an error with that message. Which the add-on creators really should have thought about. Okay. So that solves my food problems. Interestingly enough. And uh, now we can solve my other problems, which is I want this to happen to the... So I'm not going to get killed by one lightning strike now. I want to go up to the pillager outpost and have the lightning storm follow me. So I'll kill some mobs on the way there, because I will need these. But let's go up there and let's have the pillagers be struck by lightning. I'm assuming that will happen. The tornado was because you wished ill on the pillagers. You know, it is true. I, I do deserve this on a moral level. I, uh... I do think that the idea of natural disasters being max frequency kind of is a fun idea if you like if you like um, playing Minecraft, not proactively, i.e. you being in charge, but reactively. If you're the sort of person who likes putting out fires. Oh no, it went away. I just got... Ah, uh, you know, it's fine. I'll hang out here for a bit. I'll set my spawn just in case something bad happens. And now we have to wait for a natural disaster to happen so that it will hurt the pillagers. <laughs> that is worth doing in my opinion. And so I'll chop down some trees. I'll get a ton of wood. I'll make a house here or something eventually. Yeah, I'll turn the pillager outpost into my house once it's gone. I think that's that's the best way to take advantage of the situation. So we'll quickly confirm there are pillagers and that they haven't been killed by the sandstorm. Because there were quite a few sandstorms while I was under their base. Um... Oh, there's one. There's one. There's two guys. One has a crossbow, one doesn't. Or one has an enchanted crossbow. The other has a regular crossbow. Also, look, there's quite a few blocks missing from this. Is this regular Minecraft? Or is this... Is this... Is this the disaster? I, I guess we can look at the outpost. The outpost looks fine, and so do all of the trees. So that's probably just how it spawns? Weird. Also, SI Silicon says set your spawn. It is always important to set your spawn. Is what people tell you. But those same people won't tell you um, that actually the better thing to do is just not to die. <laughs> they don't realize that the, the solution... You know, hardcore players never set their spawn. At least as a way of setting their spawn. They've got other things going on. And that actually works out quite well for them. So let's cook up the raw beef. Oh, it's happening. Okay. Okay, so this is my, this is my moment, chat. I, I'm going to dig down real quick just so I survive. 
Oh, okay. I'm alive. Gonna eat a cooked beef. Just stay fine. Yeah, that's good. And then get one more in here. Hopefully. Also, hello, I'm the extra cat. Long, man. long time no see since Jim, man. Good to see you. I don't think it's been a long time no see. I think it's been a regular amount of time no see. But really, I guess not being on every stream is long time no see. If you don't know, I stream quite a, a, at least two different times a week. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so we can avoid the storm by just staying behind something where it is warm. And then we're going to see if this storm affects the pillagers negatively. Oh, they're perfectly hidden behind the structure, so we need to make sure they're not. Okay. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, sandstorm killed me. I, I don't know. I, I felt like I understood that I was safe from it, but then I wasn't. Do you think you can block it? Use oh, I'm blind, chat. Okay, I've got blindness real bad. I'm just going to hang out over here. I'm just going to put, put the little shield on. And then move this all up. I've got to get the axe, which is down here somewhere. Oh, just please, please ignore me. Don't worry about me. I'm just doing my own thing here. Okay, and there's a pillager. So he's going to get hurt by the sandstorm, right? I mean, logically. Yeah, so you can't block sandstorm damage either. Okay, yeah, rip. It's, this is hard as, a, as an event. Like, trying to get the event to work out in your favor rather than just killing you. Very surprisingly hard. Would not recommend. Yeah, that that did me no benefit. I died twice, and now I might die a price. Uh, and it looks like no pillagers were unkilled during that. So okay. Also, thank you, Peter Feld, for becoming the 380th channel member. Thank you for supporting the. Okay, I'm dead. It's let's just it's just GG. Where did that witch come from? Where did where? Also, why am I skin skin standard cast? I wonder. Am I os? No. Okay. Am I? Yep, skin standard cast. As we all know, it's 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 what I'm called. So um, yeah, I am okay. I am just just having a moment right now. Lots lots of mobs, lots of things they want to do to me. So as long as I can shield my way back out of this, I'll be fine. So here are the two stakes from before. Oh, and Iron Golem. I could have just let him free, and I think all of my other problems would have gone away. But for now, we'll just crouch. Oh, wait till the skeleton hurts the pillager. It's about to happen. Come on, fellas. You can do this. You know how. Okay, so now now they're busy hurting each other, or at least ignoring me. We just have to get in here and place a block immediately. Go. Sand in. Now that we've done that, I can go to the top of the structure. And I think once I'm up there, I'll be safe from basically all natural disasters, right? Like, besides an earthquake... Yeah, there's so many sandstorms, not a lot else. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out in the corner here. <laughs> oh no, the sandstorm's gonna get me. Oh no, I'm dead, chat. Okay, if I hang out exactly here, I'm safe from the sandstorm and from the pillagers. They don't get hurt by sandstorms, though. I think that's pretty unfair. I think, I think natural disasters should affect the world equally, not just me. I, I think that is a bit of a... Uh, yeah, I think that's a bit of a weakness, personally. I think that's a bit of a weakness. Okay, so... I... Ooh, I, I don't really like my current position. Um, so I guess I'll just hide inside. Where I can also... Oh, well, eat that way. Where I can also grab this chest. So yeah, now that I've cleared out the pillar draft post, I think this is a logical place to make a house, chat. Got some shears, I got some wheat got some potatoes. I won't be taking any of this, actually. I, uh... This tripwire hook... You know, honestly, the tripwire hooks sound like they're fun. Did you ask the sandstorm nicely? So I want to see if the sandstorm still gets me here. Yeah, you are outside. You have to be literally behind a block like this. Intriguing. Oh, where? How did you get that? That is a bad place for you to be. So yeah, this is a bit of a bad house design. Honestly, all things considered. So I guess we should go and get some windows for it. Won't pillagers spawn here from time to time, says uh, SI Silicon. Yeah, as I understand it, um, they will spawn here quite a lot, actually. Which makes it sound like it's a bad place for a house. But if you think about it, this is a natural disaster add-on. We kind of want to have natural disasters. But yeah, I feel, I feel like before we settle down, we should go experience the rest. Because it's not just... Um, it's not just the sandstorms and the tornadoes, the only ones we've seen so far. There are blizzards only in cold biomes. There are thunderstorms in 
Oh, they're just plus the. Oh, we had, we had a thunderstorm, right? We we died to the thunderstorm. Uh, we also haven't had earthquakes. It doesn't say where these are, but I guess they're just not very common. Meteor showers will sometimes appear too, and acid rain, which we also haven't seen. So it will destroy my crops, which is why we should keep our crops under a roof. Um, we can experience the frequency, turn them up, and we can summon disasters. Oh, wow. Do we want to do that, chat? Okay, I don't want acid rain. That sounds boring. But an earthquake sounds genuinely quite useful to me. I think I'm going to go make an earthquake happen right now. Yeah, I'm going to take this book. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go make an earthquake happen. I think that's just the thing we've got to do. So, let's head down. Now, let's do it. Sandstorms hate players. It's common knowledge. That's why there's no football in Saudi Arabia. I, you know, that's a compelling argument you make right there. I mean, there is football in Saudi Arabia, though. So, I mean, that's that's probably the biggest uh, point against you there, Cesano Green. By the way, good to see you, Cesano. Hope you're doing wonderfully today. So, here is my natural disaster um, controller. I'm, oh, okay. Let's go off a floor where we're safe. And if we combine this with... What do we combine it with? We put it in the crafting table. Oh, it won't tell me. So, uh, Quake. We need to combine it with Deep Slate. So not just regular deep slate, by the way. That is polished deep slate. I think I can do that, though. I think I can actually do that. So let's get down in the caves. Let's go grab a deep slate. And then let's cook it up. Oh, please stop killing me. I will die if you do. Oh, yeah. This is, this is real bad. Okay, I'm going to sprint outfit. <laughs> it's so easy to... Okay, so the pillager outpost is still OP. I would like to like to remind everybody. And I'd also like to remind you... The getting in and getting out with all your stuff from one of these is terrible. But this is my natural disaster. I chose it. And I'm willing to live with it. Also, that zombie now has all my stuff. So maybe I maybe I chose wrong. But anyway, will he deflect my shield attacks? Do I have to use an axe to make sure he doesn't? <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. Got the stuff, I hope. And as long as I have my natural disaster controller, I feel pretty good. Looks like I do. Don't have my sword, though. So one more quick visit. We could probably be useful at this point. Um, we'll, just, we'll just go to sleep. We'll just deal with this in the morning. Um, oh, God. Meteor showers and a wooden house would be epic. Oh, nice. That, did the spider just kill a pillager? Oh, okay. That's not a natural disaster, but it is a disaster. Although, I guess, you know, what is a creeper if not a natural disaster? If you really think about it. Oh, no. Acid rain. Oh, this is the one type of rain I specifically would like not to experience. Oh, it's killing all the mobs. Perfect. It is... This is the natural disaster for me right now. Um, oh, okay. Well, not not right right now, apparently. Also, why... <laughs> why is he like this? Okay. Um, put the leggings on. Put the shield on. Get the pickaxe out. Yeah, let's do it. And... Okay. Yeah, just, just ignore all the bad things happening right now. And try and get... I, I don't know why slimes have to spawn during acid rain. It's a bit of a weird outcome if you ask me. But that's fine. I'm um, going to desperately just race from tree to tree. Trying to avoid death. Look at all the slimes. This is this is beyond natural disaster. This is like full fantasy crazy Minecraft. I'm here for it, but I think it's weird. I think it's very, very weird. So eat the cooked beef. Maybe get the tools to make some more cooked beef, though. I... Had a sword somewhere around him. Do you think it got destroyed by the acid rain? I am going to have to check another time. Yeah, there's a lot of raw beef now. And there's a lot of pillagers who are fleeing from this underneath trees. Which is hugely interesting to me. But yeah, let's just... Uh, okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm great. Oh, there go my leggings. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing real good. I don't think I have a sword anymore. I don't know where it went, but I don't have it. So, future me's problem. <laughs> Honestly, I wonder how they made this. Yeah, a lot of the other add-ons have, like, big weaknesses in what they do. This is, like, fully featured, like, world-affecting stuff. The sort of thing you would not expect them to approve for an add-on. Gotta, gotta give them credit for that, if nothing else. Wait, a slime farm? Yeah, slime farms are getting much better after uh, 1.21 too, though, because of the potion. 
I've seen some people make some really crazy farm designs of it. Also, where was my cave, chat? I I remember it was nearby here. But I don't remember where. Is, it, is, is this right? This looks right. Okay, in we go. We get a piece of deep slate. We're going to mine it, set it off. And we're going to have an earthquake happen somewhere fun. I'm excited. So, chat, what, where do you think would be best for an earthquake to happen? Because I fought Pillager Outpost at first, right? Like, destroy that. But there are probably way more intriguing structures to destroy. Like, a desert temple could be interesting, right? We could take a, you know, a woodland mansion to go craziest. Uh, or even just a village. Like, it'd be fun to activate it in any... <laughs> Lots of people saying villages. Uh, it'd be fun to activate it more or less anywhere, I think. All things considered. So let's just grab some torches. Okay. That's that's cool. Glad you're here. Hope you're having a good time. And now we just grab a single piece of deep slate. If we could get the disaster alarm, it'd be cool though. So I think that's what I'm going to aim for. I'm going to get a disaster alarm going. And maybe like an iron chest plate just to save my life in the future. You know, it's the small things that we need to think about. So, yeah, redstone can generate somewhere around here. Ooh, big hole. Yeah, we got some lapis before we got redstone. Very wild. Very, very wild. But if we just have a single piece of this, we'll do just fine. Oh, look at the zombies. They have they have horde spawned on top of me right there. And maybe grab another one just in case. I don't think we'll need more. But it's nice to imagine. And then we'll hop into this cave. Uh, there's a lot of zombies following me, so maybe I won't actually. And we'll just... Oh, I don't have any more. Uh, okay, I'm having a bit of a crisis. I'm safe. Okay, we good. We're out. In we go, out we go. One little smell. And I am good to go. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a furnace. Let's let's do this chat. So this is, um, for anyone who's, uh, who, who missed that, you can craft natural disasters... And one of the natural disasters is crafted, weirdly enough, using um, a, a deep slate and a natural disaster toggler, the disaster controller. So just taking these two things together gives me a deep slate. And combining them makes a... It did say deep slate, right? Oh, there we go. What what did we do? Oh, it's not, it's not shapeless. It has to be there and there. So now I've got the ability to trigger a thing. Also, a zombie has an iron sword. I bet he stole it from me. I bet he stole it from me. Um, Icy Bubba says, do these disasters work in the nether? Oh, I don't know, but I want to try now. You know what? We... I feel like we need to know, right? Do you think they would enable... Also, it's it's definitely acid rain right now. So we might be stuck in here for a little, a little bit longer than I hope. Yeah, it's not it's not really good to go out while it's acid raining. I mean, that's that's what the weather will tell you, at least. If you can trust such a, a thing. So we'll try to work out how we make another disaster controller. Uh, disaster. I guess we need a crafting table. That'd be my guess based on what I'm seeing. So crafting table. Drop it down. Oh, I'm in, I'm in acid rain. Not my goal. So disaster controller. It's made from a redstone dust and a lightning rod. So I really, really need copper. I can't. Like, the co copper ingots and blocks of redstone is where all the secrets are. And so let's let's go let's go get the redstone. It's too important not to. The game is telling me, yeah, we're going to hold you down in the cave until you get it. And so I'm just going to do it. I, usually I don't like being told what to do, but in this case, I'll make an exception for disasters. Because, again, like, uh, disasters have this, like, harrowing effect on humans. Where we're like, oh god, we're all going to die. I will do anything to not die. It's, you know, the time that humans are at our most obedient is when we believe our life is at risk otherwise, I think. Um, a year seems too little to me. I, uh, if you could set the disaster once or twice a year, this would be actually great in the long term. Yeah, I do think people could really enjoy natural disasters if they were really infrequent. Um, and if they conferred some small benefit as well as downside. Like, the sort of thing you could plan for. In the same way that lightning is mostly a downside, but has benefits in Minecraft. Which is weird, because, you know, it's funny because natural disasters in Minecraft don't exist, but if you really think about lightning, it's like such a... It's every definition of natural disaster. Also, the rain has either stopped, or I'm not near enough it to hear. Which is uh, also possible, of course. Oh, okay. That's probably an earthquake. Yeah, okay. Is 
Do you think it's an earthquake right now? Am I gonna die? Am I in a precarious position for an earthquake? <laughs> oh lord. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just. Where is the earthquake happening? Even? Oh no. Is it coming for me? I just. I just want to not be in a ravine while this is happening. Okay. I didn't trigger this one. This one triggered itself. Um. Do you? Oh. Is this is. This is, they, they should give like warnings before this happens. This is making me a little bit sick feeling. Okay, but as you can see, what it did is it killed a spider. Um, and yeah, that's about it actually. It looks like. Well, that was nice. That was that was an event. <laughs> that was an event. That's how I would describe what just happened. I'll get some gold. I don't think I need it, but you you, you never know when you need gold until it's too late fix them up anyway. Just just have it lying around. And I will find redstone down here. I know it. I fully believe it. And everyone knows the more things you believe, the more things happen. So, let's sand our way up. Sand up. And this, this, how is there no redstone around here? Is it really that low down? I feel like it was slightly higher up than diamonds when I was last peeking. But I must be wrong. Okay, down we go. Get our hands on this. Oh, goodbye, axe. It was nice knowing you. Ooh, yeah, I think we're gonna just knock your fella off. Oh, he knocked me off. Okay, that's good. Is that? I wanted to be down here, actually. I'm very glad that we could find a... Oh, yeah, my shield does not have the, li the life in it to do much more of this. But I'm just I'm just here for a piece of redstone. Then I can make disaster controllers, then I can make my own re then I can make my own disasters. That feels OP to me. Oh, there we go. Di we got we got the most important thing we can have. That's right, it's Raymond's. Cuz uh, if you don't know, it's uh di you might think that it's pronounced diamonds, but if you actually look into the spelling, it's it's Raymond's. But um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead, grab some of those, grab some of these. At some point, the channel in jokes get so far that I don't think anyone understands them. I think Raymond's <laughs> definitely got there a long time ago. But uh, look how much there is. I spent so long struggling for this chat, and now I have a lifetime supply. I have a legitimate lifetime supply, or a, a medium lifetime supply, let's say. And so now we just grab the redstone, get out, and then start causing natural disasters everywhere. I'm going to make at least a few earthquakes. Like, we've got nine cobble deep slate. That's a lot of cobble disasters. Um, you now need to consider that I am... I'm just, I'll just... I'll use the wood. I have wood for a reason, right? I try to save wood for more valuable causes. But sometimes life is what life is. And you end up like this. So, yeah, if you're curious as to what happened... Um, well, we're going to head back to the surface. We're going to cause a lot of earthquakes once we get there. If you're curious as to what happened, I think I mentioned on my last stream, I think it was last Thursday, maybe Friday, I was like, oh yeah, there'll be a bit of a week gap. I had a trip to the Middle East planned. I was going to go to Jordan. Uh, it was going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, I hoped it was going to be a lot of fun. But um, you might have heard about a news story the same time that I did, um, which was about six hours before my flight. Which is that uh, a lot of countries in the, you know, this, this is a shocking revelation. No one was expecting it. But apparently there's a bit of a disagreement between some of the countries in the Middle East. Uh, and they decided to send bombs to each other. But because they sent those bombs via each other's airspace. What's, the, what's happening? Why am I dying? I don't understand. Uh, how do I avoid this? Um, okay, that's how. Is it an underground dust storm? just happened? Okay, I'm gonna put my stuff in the furnace for the start. Oh, I can't do that, because I don't have... So I'm just gonna sneak in, grab that, put some of this in there, my last piece of coal, and just uh, enjoy enjoy how it is. You're doing great, Sincero. Thank you. So, um, you know I never judge your choices, but I think you put yourself more danger than you need to be. Yeah, so what actually happened, uh, if you're curious about the... Uh, uh, something you mean in real life, is... Um, I was entirely willing to just go anyway, because there was between two countries that weren't involving my country. The one I was going to, Jordan. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's very stable, as far as the Middle East is concerned. Um, but they closed their airspace just as like a solidarity move, basically, like to prevent war attacks happening. 
And uh, so I was denied boarding to my flight. And so I was there halfway between my flights. I was in Sweden. And uh, the airline company were being really weird about it. They just said, you can't go and we'll email you at some point and then we'll let you know what to do there. And that's the weirdest thing when trying to board a flight is just being told like, oh, we don't know what to do about you. So just like we'll email us later and we'll work it out. Uh, because in general, if, like that's a way of saying, go away, we're busy, right? It's not a solution to any problems. Uh, it is merely the lack of solutions to problems. So I'm actually going to cook up my deep slate now. I think that's the most important thing to cook up. And then I'm going to use a crafting table to make a redstone block. So I can make a disaster button thing and then some other stuff. So my cobble deep slate did not in fact cook. So we'll just take that with us. And let's try and get out of here healthy and alive. That's, that's going to be my goal for right now. Come on, <laughs> there's so many disasters. <laughs> there's so many of them, chat. What is, what is right now, do you think? Is it acid rain again? I just got past acid rain. Oh no, it's a lightning. Okay. That's great. I feel like this is quite dealable in the grand scheme of things. Uh, oh, is it a tornado actually? Chat, what do you reckon is happening right now? So I'm going to make some lightning rods. Um, we'll... Yeah, we'll make a redstone block. And then we'll make a couple of lightning rods. And then I'm going to make the disaster alerter. I think it will just be cool to have wherever we go. A disaster alarm. You animate this expressions want me to be subscribed. Keep being you, brother. Thank you. I animate expressions is an interesting thing to say. Doesn't everyone have animated expressions? I think when you're okay. Oh, what? Okay, lightning struck. Terrible. Very bad. Not good. All good. Okay, I'm just gonna sleep in this bed again. I'm gonna get. We're gonna be much better in the morning, and hopefully the weather will be too. Nope, the weather is entirely independent of that. Which is fine, I guess. This is okay. I have no issues. I sh definitely should have gone in the in the sun. I agree, Pat. Oh, look, it petrified a tree. Oh, we got a new wood type. Chat, look at this, look at this. We got burnt wood. Oh. <laughs> it, it doesn't turn into burnt planks. It's just... Look, I got some burnt wood over here. Beautiful new block. So it's not just... A lot of these uh, add-ons are one-trick ponies. But this is actually not a one-trick pony. This is... Oh, and look, you can see the earthquake. Oh, I mean, yeah, the earthquake, right? It made a giant ravine, and that ravine was actually useful. It uncovered coal, copper, and iron. Who was killed by lightning? Uh, it's That's my new name, uh, Shentao. Just so you know. Hope you're familiar. Um, tornado sounds like storms. Yeah, I, I do not know the sounds of my disasters, uh, apparently. So it's over here. But yeah, it's cool, cool seeing all the disasters so quickly. We haven't seen Blizzard yet, so I want to see that, and then I'm going to activate a ton of earthquakes. My basic plan here is just to, to be as crazy as possible. And you better believe that is a plan that is going to be enabled soon. Okay, so... Hippity hoppity. I have to worry about my property. And then... Oh yeah, we got... We, okay, so let's let's do some decluttering. Gone, gone, 14 seats gone, uh, two dirt, maybe, 10 deep slate, definitely need gunpowder, would be nice actually, it'd be cool to see if it like does anything cool later, and then we can pick up the torches, we can pick up the second crafting table, although we're actually going to make a disaster controller first, so we type in disaster, and we make two of these, oh they, they don't stack, and then we put the earthquake back in here, and we're ready to go. Yeah, we're going to go off and find a a disastrous biome now. Should be fun. I'm going to eat rotten flesh until I switch out to beef. And I'm very excitable uh, with regards to this chat. Because I am about to inflict ravines upon the world. Honestly, this is the sort of thing that makes me wonder how it would be on my Let's Play World 2. Gotta say. Really gotta say. Okay, so... Jordan was part of the efforts to repulse the offense, but the weekend, it was natural considering the number of Sandhurst and West Point is in the middle. So, anyway, the, the important thing about that is not the actual geopolitics of it, but I was denied boarding on a flight, um, and uh, the airline was just being really weird about it. They weren't giving any... They weren't being committal. They're like, just wait and see. But it's like, you can't just wait and see in an airport all day. Um, 
So I went back to the hotel, kind of chilled. And I was like, wait a minute, actually, um, I'm in Sweden. I, I'm, if, if you recall, the last time um, I called, uh, last time me and Ulraf did a uh, stream together, um, I, I, men I, I mentioned briefly, like, I'm in Stockholm, but like only for a few hours. It's like a shame. Like, we keep almost seeing each other, but not. And um, basically, I, I sent him a message and I was like, oh, yeah, my flight got delayed, so I'm accidentally in Sweden. And he was like, oh, I'm actually not in Sweden right now. Um, as it so happened, he was on a trip himself. Um, one that hadn't been cancelled, uh, thankfully. But, um, yeah, we uh, we actually... So, uh, all rep, uh, if you don't know, he's a friend of mine, a gameplay developer on Minecraft. Um, the, the, the fun term he uses, vanilla team. Um, also, this is definitely a lava pit. Yeah, that's the lava pit right there. Let's let's go into it. Let's uh, let's remove some blocks that we don't need. Let's place down a crafting table. I think I've got some iron on me, right? I do. Oh no. Okay. So this is lightning. Lightning is bad for me. I want to avoid it at all costs. How do I do that? Get in the hole. Place one of those above my head. This is my house for a little bit now. <laughs> and in here, I can enjoy. I don't know, smelting up some sticks. Yeah, we'll make a ton of sticks, actually. Make a ton of sticks. And it takes two sticks to smelt one item. So if we want to smelt two copper... Oh, actually, we want to smelt... I think we only want to smelt one, but we'll just smelt all eight, I guess. And we put those in there. And, uh... Yeah, now, now we are ready to go to the nether, where I will trigger my first up. I can also get through with my rock flash, I guess. You know, it's it's nice that we have times like this to reconsider our activities. Also, MTV Cribs says uh, Ruby likes Sonic too. Okay, let me do the cribs for my house right now. Okay, so let me introduce you to the furnace room. It's the main room when you enter the house. It's pretty good. And then on the other side of the room, we have the crafting section. As you can see, this is where I craft things like a bucket if I wanted to go to the nether. I can also turn my burnt wood into something. I, it's got to be useful for something, right? There's got to be some recipe that uses it. Is there a way to know, or do I just? Yeah, I just, I just have burnt wood now. It's nice. You know, let's let's put this in my house actually. Let's have some burnt wood over here, and some burnt wood over. Oh no, over here. There we go. Okay. So look at my floor decorations and my wall decorations, and now we can finally leave. Hell, hell. You know, not that I wasn't enjoying it in here, but thank God I can finally get out. Uh, except where do I get out? I guess this way looks good. Jump on the crafting table, and that was my MTV crypt. So, obviously that was just a starter home until I uh, later settle down for realsies. But I want to trigger an earthquake in the nether first. If you're, if you're curious as to what my current goal is, that is it, and it is going to be fun. It's going to be a very crazy one, but that's an important part. So let's break this. Okay. Yep. It's a, it's it's just way lower down than I expected. So we should actually break from over here, I think. Yep. And place a dirt. And one of these. And break one of those. And then we'll just, we'll just let this mess up rather than... Usually what I do is I, like, have some semblance of doing this the speedrunny way. In this sense, we'll just be like, oh no, it looks like we're gonna make a mistake. And that's gonna... Burn all the lava, but it is also going to make this more possible. So then we break both of these blocks. Place some lava there. And some lava over here. And then we're going to remove the blocks over here. I'm going to make sure that it can't flow this way. Just in case, because I really need this lava to stay. Yeah, it, it was in fact going to flow. That was a tactical decision. Then we go on the other side. One. Two. And three. And then we'll do the top two blocks next. Or finally, I guess. So, top block here. And block goes over here. And I, I think if I did that... Yeah, we did that correctly. And so we just remove this block. Jump up here, get some wood. Oh, no, we can't use the, the petrified wood for this. But I don't have a flint and steel chat. But I do have gumption. And more importantly, I have lava and some wood. So let's just activate the wood. And by activate, I mean light on fire, obviously. We'll maybe start... We'll, we'll place some fire over here. We need to make sure it goes on top. At the same time, we're going to cook a pig or two. You know, cooking pigs is always important. 
key part of civilization. And then as soon as the fire spreads, we can come on. The earthquake. No, not right now, earthquake. There are things going on. <laughs> okay. So we're going to try on this side to, to make a, a thing happen too. Oh, no. I placed it wrong. Let me unplace you. <laughs> okay. There we go. Never portals ready. Um, so I want to see this natural disaster happen though. Okay, there it is. There it is. It's tearing through the lava pit, interestingly. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Just don't destroy my nev portal and I'll be fine. I feel like it will be a bit targeted if it goes through that. But yeah, right now, it seems to be struggling a little bit. Is there, is there even destruction happening here? Oh, okay. Wow. That was actually really cool. Um... Again, I, I feel like that's... It's a fun explanation for why there are ravines in a world. So yeah, that was what a earthquake looks like in the overworld. Now we're going to trigger an earthquake in the nether. Um, if it works. Actually, chat, place your bets right now. Do you think this will work? Can you place an earthquake in the nether? Would they spawn here naturally? Even? Oh, perfect. This is so perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna consider the consequences. I'm just gonna activate it. Earthquake is currently at- Oh, and you don't need to- You can just trigger it whenever you want. Oh, interestingly. Interesting. I would say. So right now, things are fine. Um, I imagine there's gonna be some not fine happening soon. Or maybe the earthquake is triggering in the overworld right now? But yeah, I don't really see any signs of an earthquake. Yeah, it says earthquake is active. Lagquake. Um, yeah, it is very laggy here. Huh? So, yeah, I don't think you can do earthquakes in the nether. I think that is the thing to conclude here. Eh, okay. Maybe it's still happening in the overworld. Yeah, let's, let's, let's make sure the overworld one isn't still happening. Um, it's probably affecting the never roof. Never can't into earthquakes as a road. It's true, apparently. Okay, so let's get out of here. Yeah, I think there's an earthquake here, right? I hear the noises of it. But where is it happening? I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, the, the world is shaking. No, it's just the noise. Yeah, I think we broke Minecraft. It's like, it's shaking. Is it happening somewhere that we can't see, but is nearby? Bro is uh, built like Google Talks. I don't know what that means. I I would love to know if that is a compliment or not. You know, built Google Docs is, uh, is a seriously good form of, uh, ser seriously good uh, form of uh, document service. One that should be appreciated by all, really. So, yeah, I think I should go back to my bed and sleep. Or commit to being in the nether for a bit. Yeah, okay, so let's... Let's go trigger an earthquake in the nether. Now we know the overworld is definitely done. Let's see if it will work this time. So apparently it lags when I get in the nether. Sorry about that internet. Uh, now it's like it's much more like a PowerPoint. I think you mean Google Slides. Oh no, I'm dead. Apparently. I don't know why I'm dead. Okay, something... There we go. It's a zombie. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Not sure how you got here. Oh, that was so laggy. <laughs> Earthquake is currently active. So I'll hang out for a bit. Let's see if maybe I can solve it that way. Oh, yeah, they get... Minecraft is... Okay, so I'll set down my disaster alarm. This would let me know if there was a earthquake active. And there clearly can't be, because it's not going off. Yeah, checkmate. It must be on the never roof. I don't think it is, though, because again, I've got I've got the tool that should let me know, and there is no sign of a disaster happening here. It's a cool item, by the way, right? Can we all agree this is like a nice little thing? Minecraft should have something like this, like a, a storm detector. But yeah, this was a small waste of my time. But just a small one. You know, it's like uh, just just a little 
Just a little waste. Not a big waste. Everyone has wastes like this somewhere in their deck. So let's go back. Um, so he's definitely uh, Google Maps as Mr. What Why. Thank you. That That is the most valuable service. I've started noticing recently, though, of Google Maps. Can I just say, I want to I wanna be the first one to mention this. Um, the Google Maps is like... It's really hard to actually find certain businesses on Google Maps. And it's crazy the whole, like, you can have sponsored placement on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it does affect how people actually do things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the disaster alarm down. Oh, so the disaster alarm is not accurate. And also, notice... The, so the earthquakes aren't actually triggering when I say they are. This is a big flaw in the entirety of the system. But it's one we will ignore because it's what we choose to do. Yeah, a bit of a bummer, all things considered. The... Unless there's a better way to use these, they don't seem to actually place where you think they're placing. Like, it might be activating somewhere in the world, but definitely not over here. So let's eat some raw mutton. I went through all that work to get my health up, and now I've wasted it all. But that's fine. I'm just here to sleep and then find a better part of my world. Okay. Can't rest. There are monsters nearby. I'll fix that. I, In fact, I'll, I'll fix that by sleeping a little closer to home. And hoping that there's no zombie attack in my sleep. Every one block in the never, it's eight in the overworld. So, um, is a happening ways off. Oh, yeah, that's a good theory that maybe they do some weird translation about where the disaster should happen based on that. I'm just going to let this creeper explode. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to go this way. Just in the hopes of finding something fun to earthquake. Although, actually, let's test this. Here is my disaster alarm. Here's trigger earthquake. Chat, where is the, where is the disaster? I want to know. I want to feel alarmed about a disaster right now. Um, not going to lie, I'm a bit disappointed the update didn't drop uh, yesterday or today. It says deadly voltage free. Yeah, I, t I totally feel you on that one. I I do think that the... Uh, oh. I do think it would have been cooler if it was yesterday. But I, I think that... I think they have a different deadline than we think by the fact that they're still doing pre-releases and not like... Hurrying out a a uh, a release candidate. They the I, one of the developers said something really interesting on Twitter, uh, kind of referring to that. So I I do think that they they have plans. Just those plans are quite a ways off what we imagine those plans to be. And that's that's entirely fine. So let's go in a boat because boats are safe from natural disasters. You never have natural disasters on a boat, chat. It's just a widely known thing. Then we'll turn these into planks and turn this and this into a stick just to get rid of the inventory stop. And let's go on a journey. Um, what's so special about yesterday, says Xavier? It's just a Tuesday. We just assume updates release on Tuesdays. I love that before I could even roll my eyes at the troll comment. They were deleted. Good job, mods, says Ninja Acrylic. Yeah, we have really good mods on the stream. I think it's a, it's a really hard line to draw because it's easy to say, why can't anyone just comment anything all of the time? And the answer is that you can comment anything anywhere all of the time. But to have any sense of community anywhere, you have to say, okay, well, this is allowed here. You need to give people spaces to do that. So I think, you know, trying to ban it from everywhere is an insane idea. Um, like even the most, I, I, I think you should be able to say the most crazy out there stuff somewhere on the internet where there are other people who agree and want to hear that. But there are places where it's just like, oh, yeah, you're being... you. I, one of the things which I think is most surprising is the fact that your emotions really affect how people see you. Like, if you go into interactions with a lot of positivity, people respond with a lot of positivity and they you, you kind of add to their day. Whereas when you're kind of negative immediately at people, they just come back at you like, yeah, well... I, you know, like, you maybe you have a right to be negative. Like, they'll they'll come back at you with the same emotion you throw at them, basically. For, like, a lot of the world. And I think that's really interesting. Also, I'm going to trigger another earthquake now. Earthquake is currently active. Also, there's been no natural disasters since, right? Did we, did we do something wrong? I'm going to turn earthquake off. And I'm going to turn earthquake on. And then we're going to trigger it now. 
Chat, I I think Trigger Earthquake has broken broken this whole add-on. <laughs> I think we haven't had a natural disaster since. And I I don't think that is a coincidence. So yeah, I I, I to, to give my overall thoughts. Um to to to, to rank to, to give this uh overall review. I would say honestly, the natural disasters is really cool as a thing to avoid. I wouldn't turn it up to five. I would say set it to one, maybe two, if you want to see like a few more of them. Or go three if you want to go crazy. But like I would say set it to one of the lower settings, turn them all on, and then genuinely try to uh, survive through them. And it'll be a nice thing that happens, you know, four or five times in an average run of Minecraft. Um, and if you're trying to build, it might be like a cool little uh, bonus. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, I think I might need to do that actually. Let's let's turn it off, leave the game, and turn it on again. See if that doesn't result in something good for us. We'll turn up simulation distance. Like I said, there's huge benefits to this. It's something I really am quite passionate about. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Tidal wave tsunami. I would love to see a tsunami, honestly. So keep streaming on YouTube. Twitch sucks, Wang. I. Uh, so let's let's trigger it now. Oh, it happened. Okay, chat. We fixed it. The natural disaster alarm isn't going off. But something just happened, right? No. No. <laughs> it sounded like something happened. Um, Mojang's making add-ons of the shop was a really good idea. If only they could give money to free creators, though. What's crazy is the free add-ons are better, right? This is a... Uh... This is a real problem with the way that, um, like, at, I, again, it's something they've kind of, um, it's something they have been, uh, good about at least acknowledging. They're not pretending it's not true. But, um, yeah, I recently, I, I, I hired one of the best add-on creators that exists. And, um, you know, we, we, we started, uh, working, uh, to, you know, together. And he was like, here are all the things I can do with add-ons if we don't go via the marketplace, uh, you know, that I've been doing so far. But because we need to follow these rules, here's what we have to take away. Um, and I remember that we, we, we had this really cool, great first idea, and we just had to scrap it because we're like, yeah, the way that this works is, is not very viable. Also, I want to destroy this with an earthquake, chat. Is that so much to ask? I'm going to put down my disaster alarm. I'm going to leave, and I'm going to join again. And we're going to see if maybe, just maybe, it'll work. Uh, will there be no stream tomorrow since there's one today? Says, uh, Pat. I think we'll be good tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. I hear an earthquake happening. I assume. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, I'm wrong. Well, that's nice. It looks like we've got a, a nice viney village over here. So that's cool, I guess. You like a nice viney village chat? It's probably a mix of no limits and fashion of profits, but still needing money, so ad rev. I... I think the, um... I think passion over profits and profits over passion are really interesting balances, right? I I had a really good conversation recently in my la in my time in Sweden, because I, I met with Olraf, who went to the Mojang HQ. I had a really interesting discussion about basically that. And it's interesting because... As employees, there is a certain vision for Mojang that is different to how maybe, you know, the, the corporate world might have a vision, which is different to what the con the consumers might want. Also, yeah, this is such a lame ending, but it turns out if you actually do what the game tells you to do, you will break the add-on. Um, if I want Acid Rain, I need a Spider Eye, so pff, my bad for getting rid of that. If I want Blizzard, I need a Snowball. If I want to trigger a tornado, which is definitely the coolest one, I need a phantom membrane. But yeah, um, bit of a shame, all things considered. I was looking forward to going around and destroying the world. But this is the thing about add-ons you've got to keep in mind. As cool as this add-on was, as much as I could say I would recommend it in theory, uh, if you're willing to pay that much for it, you can spend $8 a full third of the cost of Minecraft and get something that just doesn't work. And if that is fine with you... That is what I would say. Otherwise, I would say, uh, you know, like, something worth 
testing before. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> filling out there. But I also think that, you know, like, this is a inevitable thing about uh, add-on stuff, is it's done by a small team. Spark Universe does otherwise very good content. And I'm sure uh, that this will be fixed at some point, which is a cool bonus to add-ons. With that said, I hope that you've enjoyed today's live stream. If you did, don't forget to check out my next one. I'll leave a, uh, there's, I'll leave a link to the unlisted live streams playlist in the link down below. And uh, yeah, there's been no video, there was no video yesterday because um, I, I, I was sure it would be the updates. So we planned that in the schedule. And there's no video today because honestly, dumb reasons. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I recently started scheduling and uh, like, uh, you know, just make sure that everything gets coordinated. But we had a mistake with some... No, yeah, you, you, anyway, with that said, uh, you know, I, I, I am also working out internally, like, how to uh, balance things creatively between uh, some stuff. And so with that said, I hope that you will enjoy today's live stream. Hope you found it interesting, because I'll see you in the next one. Good bye. This is, this is what happens every morning. <laughs>